all right friends for our fenugreek uh, curry today uh, it's a dry curry but uh, we are going to make fenugreek dry curry rice with it you can eat it like a dry curry or you can mix it with rice and have a delicious curry so for that i have this uh, methi leaves uh, um, we call them methi leaves but actually these are fenugreek leaves and the nutritional benefits of this fenugreek leaves are innumerable as you read before um, so over here um, what we have to do is we have to remove the leaves from the stem and i'm going to remove the leaves from the stem and i'm going to place them in the water over here i have the water i'm going to uh, separate the leaves and uh, put them in the water and let them soak for like 15 to 20 minutes and then we will start the process all right friends so this one is triple washed now i'm going to go ahead and add water to a soaking level all right friends over here our uh, methi or fenugreek leaves have been soaking for 30 minutes now you can also soak them with apple cider vinegar one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar you can soak uh, to remove any kind of chemicals or bugs or uh, any any additives uh, you can always use them but uh, today i just used warm water over here i have freshly chopped onion and uh, some garlic and I have uh, tomatoes as well so we are going to use all of this in our recipe today okay my pan is uh, hot and I'm just going to pour a little bit of oil you can use any oil of your choice I'm using peanut oil today one teaspoon of mustard seeds one teaspoon of chana dal one teaspoon of urad dal one teaspoon of cumin seeds and we're going to just wait until it uh, gets into high flame and uh, sputter okay as you can see it is sputtering at this time I'm going to add two red chilies and give it a good stir we want the uh, legumes to be a little bit of light brown and do not burn them always stay by your uh, towel so it doesn't get burnt you can also add gluten free hing or asafoetida I can show you the brand that I'm using this is the brand that I'm using I'm just going to add a pinch to it okay as you can see it is uh, getting into a brown stage now we add our garlic and onion sauteing it until you see a glassy onion so that is our indication that tells us that it is cooked for about like a 30 seconds wonderful now I can add the tomatoes Once you see the tomatoes shrink a bit, that's the time we add some turmeric and salt, adding half a teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of salt. Take the water from the soak also, which has nutritional value, just a little bit. Do not add too much water. I have just added like a quarter cup of water just to cook the vegetables so they don't get burnt. So keep it in for another two minutes and we can add our fenugreek leaves. It's very well cooked. Now I'm going to add our fenugreek leaves. These are not cooked, 
who are steamed. These are just raw fenugreek leaves which have been rinsed and soaked. So because we are going to make a dry curry, we don't need to steam it. We are just going to make sure it gets cooked while we uh, saute it along with our vegetables. While that is cooking, I wanted to show you guys the rice that we made fresh uh, today. And this is the rice that we are going to go ahead and mix with our uh, methi curry and it would be delicious. You can use it for lunch as well. I want this to cook faster, so adding a lid on top. By the way, my stove is on medium heat. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of homemade garam masala. I would also add the link below the description so you all can go and see how to make your very own garam masala in case you don't know just make the garam masala homemade uh, and many of my homemade powder recipes are there um, so it is easier and cost effective and you can make it from the comfort of your own home and you know that uh, while you make it there are no artificial flavors or preservatives or any kind of additives or chemicals in your food so it is pretty safe as you can see the tomatoes are very well done and it's good to have some big chunks of tomato but if you don't like those chunks you can always uh, chop them finely. You can also make uh, a uh, kutu in this one which is like a soup kind of a dal curry when you add dal but today we also made the drumstick dal soup or drumstick dal curry rice so I'm not going to add one more dal to it so this would be like our curry but today we are making a mixed rice so we are doing the drumstick curry rice and we are also doing the methi or fenugreek curry rice so when we make like the fried rice or any kind of variety rice it is better to have this big chunk so when you eat it it is very tasty and it has a good aromatic flavor to it Our curry is almost done. You may add one teaspoon of red chili powder in case you need extra spices. But uh, I have already added two dry chili so this should do. And we have added garam masala as well. So that should add for the spices. Friends definitely make this at home and uh, get all the nutritional benefits because fenugreek is very very healthy for many different reasons. It helps your hair grow really uh, long and healthy it helps with the scalp damage uh, it has many different nutritional properties uh, the main thing that we use it for is a healthy digestion and a healthy gut okay and the last step is to add grated coconuts to it you can also add freshly uh, grated coconuts but i am using the dried coconut flakes over here Just give it a stir. You don't have to cook this too much. It's just like the finishing touch over here. And that's it. Our curry is ready. I'm turning off the heat. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to mix this with your rice and uh, eat it for lunch or dinner. And this is a great recipe for uh, lunch ideas for school and for work. So here we go. I'm just going to mix this in fenugreek curry without the added rice and you can also just consume it like that because it would add like a good snack or even breakfast you don't need rice to add it if you are going grain free this is a great addition to add your grain free delights to it and this is a great addition for your snack time breakfast like I mentioned and this would be a great addition for your children to eat at the cafeteria instead of carving on the junk Alright, here we go. Our methi or fenugreek curry leaf rice is ready for serving. As you can see, there are two red chilies on the side. Make sure to leave them out. Do not eat them if you are not used to this kind of cooking because those are very, very spicy. It's just to add the aroma to the dish instead of jumping on the junk during the lunch time and extra sugar. So, so this is sugar-free, gluten-free, vegan and it is very, very healthy in terms of uh, diet and this is a great lunch idea. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, definitely like, share and subscribe. I am coming back with more videos.